Hello guys, in this video, I will discuss the basic things of IC4026. So let's get started. Here is our IC4026 and it has 16 pins. Pin number 1 is clock input pin. Pin number 5 is carry out, pin number 8 is ground and pin number 16 is plus VCC. Here we will connect plus 5 volt. Pin number 15 is reset pin. Pin number 2 is clock disable pin. And whenever this pin is activated, the clock input pin that is pin number 1 will be deactivated. Pin number 3 is display disable and it is active low pin. And whenever this pin is activated, the display will be turned off. Pin number 4 is depending upon the display whether the display is activated or not. Whenever the display is activated, the pin 4 will be high and whenever the display is deactivated, the pin 4 will be low. Now see the display pins. Pin number 10 is A, pin number 12 is B, pin number 13 is C. Pin number 9 is D, pin number 11 is E, pin number 6 is F, pin number 7 is G and pin number 14 is not C. So whenever C is low at that time pin number 14 will be high. And we use this pin as a divider circuit like dividing by 60 or dividing by 12 and this is the common cathode display it has 10 pins IC4026 only supports the common cathode display so we have to use this type of displays now see the pin diagram of the display it has 10 pins as this display is common cathode so the middle pin is connected to ground both the middle pin this pin is A that means this segment this pin is B, it means this segment, it is dot and you can see on the display, on the display there is a dot here, okay. And this pin is C, that means this segment, this is D, this one and this pin is E, it means this segment and this one is F, this is the F segment and this pin is G, that is the middle segment. So this is the pin diagram of common cathode display. As we know, pin number 1 is clock input pin. So to provide clock pulse, we will use one push to one switch and other side of the switch is connected to plus VCC. Pin number 8 is ground and pin number 16 is plus VCC. Here we will connect plus 5 volt. These are the display pins. Now if we want to count from 0 to 9 then pin number 15 should be connected to the ground and pin number 2 should be connected to the ground to enable the clock input pin and as pin number 3 is active low pin so to active the displays we have to connect this pin to the plus 5 volt that means the high signal and pin number 5 is used to cascade the ICs. We will see the cascading function of IC4026 in the next video. And this is the display and I will show you one connection. This is the pin D and pin number 9 should be connected to D through 220 ohm resistor. And like this we have to connect all of them. I am sorry for this, there is no need to connect any capacitor here. And pin number 1 is connected to one LED through 220 ohm resistor and cathode pin of the LED is connected to the ground. So whenever the switch is turned on, the LED will glow. So this will indicate us that pin number 1 is getting pulses. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Put the IC and put the display. Pin number 8 is connected to the negative rail and pin number 16 is connected to the positive rail. As this display is common cathode, so middle pin is connected to the negative rail. 
pin number 2 is connected to the negative rail as I have discussed and pin number 3 should be connected to the positive rail. Now put all the 7 resistors. So from the left to right we have to use from A to G. So pin number 10 is connected to resistor A. Pin number 12 is connected to resistor B. Pin number 13 is connected to resistor C. Pin number 9 is connected to resistor D. Pin number 11 is connected to resistor E. Pin number 6 is connected to the resistor F. And pin number 7 is connected to the resistor G. So this is how all the resistors are connected to the IC. Now connect the display from the resistor. Resistor A is connected to the pin A of the display. B is connected to the B. C is connected to the pin C. Resistor D is connected to pin D. E is connected to pin E. F is connected to the pin F. And resistor G is connected to the pin G of the display. Now put the push to one switch. One side of the switch is connected to the positive rail and another side is connected to the pin 1. 220 ohm resistor is connected to the pin 1 and another side of the LED is connected to the resistor and another side is connected to the negative rail. Now connect the power supply. Here is your positive and this is the negative and it is showing 0. Now even if I press the switch the display counts will be 0. See this? Because the pin 15 is always resetting up to 0. So we have to connect pin 15 to ground rail. Now this will work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 and then again 1 2 3 as the pin number 14 is not C I'll connect one LED to the pin number 14 cathode pin of the LED is connected to the pin 14 and another side is connected to the positive rail and this segment is C so Now see this, 9, 0, now only for 2, this segment will turn off, ok, now see this, pin number 14 is now high, now for 3, the C segment is turned on and the LED is turned off, that is why pin number 14 is called not C. Now see the function of pin number 2. So we have to remove this. Now I am connecting a wire to the pin number 2. If I connect this to the ground, the pulse pin will work. See this is working. And if I connect this pin to the positive rail, this pin will not work. That is pulse input pin is deactivated. So this is why pin number 2 is called clock disable pin. So to enable the pin number 1 we have to connect pin number 2 to the ground. So we are always connecting pin number 2 to the ground. Now let's see the function of pin 3. So we have to remove this. Display is turned off. We are connecting one wire. If I connect this pin to the ground that means low signal this will disable the display so we call this pin display disable pin so whenever we connect this to the low signal this pin will be activated and deactivate the display so to enable the display we have to connect this to the plus vcc now the display is enabled even if i touch this wire this pin is getting some high signal okay now move to pin 4 now connect one LED to the pin 4. Now this LED is glowing because the display is activated. As I have already said, the positive pin of the LED is connected to the pin 4 and negative end is connected to the ground. C 
so whenever we connect pin 3 to the ground as yes, the display is turned off and also the LED is turned off that is pin 4 is now low so this is the function of pin 4 and to cascade the 4026 IC we have to use pin number 5 I'll show you this thing in the next video and also pin 15 this is reset pin and I'll discuss these two things in the next video so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you how to connect pin number 5 and pin number 15 of IC4026 till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching